Hello friends and welcome back to Stay Tonight. In this video I will be covering another example for use reducer hook to show you how you can you know use the use reducer hook to manage a state which is directly linked with a form. So when the form gets submitted all the fields of the form will affect the state in some way or the other. So for example the state will be a complex object as you can see on the screen what I have is I've created a basic form wherein I will have fields like email, full name, one drop down for country selection and then there will be simple plus minus button because I wanted to show you how you can set the actions for use reducer how you can think of okay these are the actions that i want in my use reducer hook based on the state and based on how you know you want to manage your state based on the operations that you want to do on the state so every action represent an operation that you would be performing on the state so in this case our state will have fields like email full name country and the age and the actions that we will be having would be you know input change in email input change in full name country so all these three basic input field change can be represented by a single action input change and then in our case we have a button to increase the age and a button to decrease the age so we can have increase age decrease age two more actions and three actions should be more than enough to handle this particular form if you have a large form where there are many fields so you will have to decide okay what are the actions that you will be performing on the state if it's basic input change basic addition or incrementing some number or maybe you know operating on some field value based on some text area or any input field so you'll have to think of those actions and based on those actions you will have to set the code for your reducer function that you will be using in the use reducer so a quick revision in use reducer we have a state initial state which is defined as an object in general you can define it anyways so in this case also we will define a basic uh, initial state in form of an object then there will be a reducer function which will take in the state and some actions and based on what action has been provided it will perform some operation on the state then there will be a dispatch function will use the use reducer hook it will return us a state and a dispatch function using the dispatch function will dispatch the actions that will be handled by the use reducer hook or the reducer function so that's the basic gist or that's the basic idea that we will be covering in this particular video i wanted to cover this video because form handling is a very integral part of application creation application development whenever you are developing any application you will be creating forms if you are working on an application which is crud intensive where crud operations play a major role then you should be very well versed how you can use the use reducer hook to directly engage with the form and manage a state okay so that's what we are going to do in this video without wasting any time let's get started so on the screen as you can see you know we have a form already i have created a form the form has input fields uh, two input fields one is email one is for full name i have provided the name attribute also attribute name holds email and this holds name the select field is there with name attribute and the value is country there are four options that i have kept for now and then there is a division which has two buttons directly buttons uh, no input fields for this one no input field for this one also so i wanted to show you how you know uh, you can handle diverse uh, fields uh, if i would have had over here an input field it would just have been like this particular input field so i wanted to show a different example as well so i have kept this particular open and we have two buttons so we'll be managing the but clicks of these two buttons if you see the user interface the user interface looks like this there's a email field there's a name field uh, there's country drop down and there is plus minus which is not doing anything right now right so this is what we have to handle now in order to define an initial state so what i have over here is i have a form.js over here and i have a form reducer.js i have already created a form reducer.js file inside of this file i'll write all the uh, uh, implementation of the re use reducer sort of you know we'll create the initial state we'll define the actions and we'll define the reducer function as well so let's start with the basic uh, state creation okay so we'll do export const initial state it will be an object so what we will keep inside of this we'll have email field empty values for all of the attributes as of now name again empty then we'll have country empty value and we'll have age and for this we'll have a value zero okay so this is how we define the state the initial state if you are new to use reducer and you are watching this video for the first time in order to learn use reducer i would advise you to watch another video that i created where i have introduced the use reducer hook and i have also shared one example and i have explained everything in way more details than this particular video so please watch that video first and then watch this video so that you know it's easier for you to understand now we will define the actions okay so in actions what we will define is we'll define three actions like i said you know in our case in our form as you can see we have three input fields two input and one select and change of these should be handled 
and in case of this we have to increment and decrement the age so this minus button will uh, lead to an action of decrement age and this particular uh, plus button would lead to an action of increment age so we'll have three actions in our case input change to handle all the input field changes i'll give the same value to this one then we'll have one for increase age increase age and it will have the same value and then we'll have decrease age and this is done sorry what am i doing <laughs> my bad okay so this is how you know the actions have been defined in an object format why we are doing this because we don't want to make any spelling mistake while firing the uh, action using this patch or handling the action in the reducer function so we would use this object with the key and the value will automatically be taken by javascript code so we don't have to worry about providing string values directly to the code okay so now it's time to write our reducer function so we'll name this form reducer okay so what this reducer will take it will take the state and action action will have type and payload so we don't have to worry about that for now inside of this we'll have a switch case to handle the different actions and based on whatever action is received operate on the state and return a new state okay so let's use the switch case over here what we'll have the key will be action dot type the value would be let's say actions dot input change and we'll do something let's add cases for different particular scenarios over here one will be for increase age this one would be for decrease age and yeah default we will return the state all right so that's how the handling would be over here we will have a return uh, statements with updated state but we'll do that once we you know set up uh, other things related to use reducer so basic uh, implementation is done a uh, basic uh, you know uh, layout has been laid now let's move on to the form.js and use the use reducer hook over here right so what i will do over here is i'll have const state and dispatch use reducer hook to this i will provide my form reducer because that's the reducer function that we have created and the initial state again this initial state is imported from over here right this represent the object in which the form fields would be uh, mapped right so if you have a large form like i said have more uh, values inside of this particular object so this should have all the fields that are there in the form if you have to map uh, you know a state directly to a form okay so this is all done now one very important thing to notice over here is the input fields name attribute has the value which is directly you know same as the key for the object of the initial state we want to map it properly because then form handling would be easier for us we won't have to write extra logic for form handling and we will write a common generic form handling uh, function that will be used by all the input fields so it's very important to name uh, these fields exactly the same as the key that we have used in the initial state object all right so this is country as you can see we have country over here and this is age so uh, this one we don't have any name attribute so don't worry about that because this we have to anyways handle separately uh, using separate actions all right so for these input fields what i will do is i will set up my action handlers for each of these okay so what i do is on change of these what i will be doing is i will set up that handle input change function for all of them and i will define this handle input function to handle the changes in these three input fields in our case right so input fields can be managed easily uh, this way and you can use this in any form that you create all right now from inside of this handle input change will fire our first dispatch action and that would be of input change right so we created that one remember inside of form reducer you'll see we created an input change actions so that is the one we will fire from over here and as you know in use reducer when we fire an action using the dispatch function an action can have a type and a payload so the type of the action will be input change and the payload will carry the name and the value of the input field whichever will trigger this particular input change handle function so if a user is making changes to the email field so as soon as the user make changes to this input field this will be fired these events will be fired and over here we'll make modifications to the state and we will set the email value 
Now, obviously, in this case, as you will type the email value, it will be firing handle input change again and again. So for that, you can use a debouncer library. Uh, you can follow the concept of debouncing and delay the triggering of dispatch, maybe by one second or 1.5 seconds so that it is not fired again and again as the user types in the email address, right? So that's a small change that you can do. Now, let's quickly write the code for dispatch over here and we will make the corresponding changes in the form reducer as well for the action type input change. All right. So over here, we'll call the dispatch function inside of this, the type of the action that we want to dispatch, it will be input change and the payload in this case would be, we'll send an object. The name would be the name of the field that is triggering this handle input change. So over here, we'll accept an event E dot target will give us the access of the input field and name will give us the access to the attribute name attribute of this particular input field. Similarly, we'll have a value set and we'll have e dot target dot value and that's it. This handle input change function will now easily handle this input, this input and this particular select. Yes, because all of them works in the same way. All input fields in a form works the same way. And this sort of a function can handle all the input fields. When this dispatch function is triggered inside of this form reducer reducer function, we will receive the code execution over here. Over here, what we will do is we will return the updated state and that would be all the existing values in the state object destructured and whatever we want to update, we can update over here. So this uh, syntax can be used if you want to, you know, update any object, if you want to use all the existing values and you want to provide some updated values, so you can do it like this. This means destructuring all the values. And if you want to update anything, you can provide it over here directly key value pair and those value will be updated. So what we will do over here is the key would be from action, what we will get is we will get action dot payload dot name. This will be the key and the value would be action dot payload dot value. And we are done this break. We can remove. We are returning this particular and the state is updated. That's it. All the three fields of the form are now handled by using this particular dispatch handle input change function. And this is something that you can use in any form that you're creating. Even if you don't want to use this dispatch or you are not using use reducer, still you can have this handle input change function, have this called on change of every input field and manage the name and value of the fields that are receiving over here. All right, so this is done. If we want to see if it is working or not, let's just, you know, print the state and we'll see if this particular thing is working for us or not. On to the user interface, inspect element, console. Okay, let's just remove this. Let's enter an email and you can see the email field is set. If I enter the name Abhishek Alawat, now the name is also set. If I select the country, USA, the country is also set. So all the three fields are now handled in our case, right? Using this particular input change function. Now the next thing that we want to do is in our use reducer, as you can see, what we have is we have two more actions to handle increase age and decrease age. So these will be triggered by these buttons. Now we can directly write the code for these over here on click. What I want to do is I want to dispatch an action which will take the type as actions dot increase age, right? Because this, sorry, this minus is for decrease age. And from the plus one, I will send in increase age. And that is it. That's the code that I have to write over here. And inside of the reducer function, I will be handling for these particular action type. How the state will be modified that we will take care of in the reducer function over here age is zero what we can do is we can simply do state dot age all right so we can see the changes that we will be making now let's head to the form reducer and over here inside of this increase age what we will do again we'll return all the values available in the state as it is and what we will update we'll update age as state dot age plus one and we'll take the same thing over here. Let's remove this break because we are returning anyways. And over here, state dot age minus one. And that's it. Our form handling code is complete. And let's get to the output and see if it's working. You can see plus minus two and the values. Oops. Yep. This is working fine for us. I think we removed the console.log. That's why we're not seeing the console.log over here. Yeah, we removed it. So let's just quickly log the state again. 
all righty as you can see the state is getting updated everything every field is being updated age is 7 and we are seeing this on the user interface as well so that's how you can use the use reducer hook to manage your state which is associated with a form now if you're creating a large form it will be super easy to manage the state like this you have a complex object for the state defined separately in the reducer file you have some actions whatever you know form changes are happening you can define actions appropriate to that uh, in this particular file and handle all of those in the form reducer or in the reducer function that you will be creating the form will be very clean because you will not be managing or modifying any state over here the state modification part is being you know delegated to the use reducer or the reducer uh, function and in this particular file, as you can see, it's super clean because the entire logic behind handling the form fields and updating the state has been moved to the reducer file. So this is a very readable, manageable and scalable way of using use reducer for form handling. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. I hope this video will help you understand use reducer in a more better way because in the last video, if you have not seen, please watch the last video. I gave you guys an introduction to use reducer hook with a simple example. Now over here, we have improved the example. We are using an example of form handling with state management. So I hope this video will even improve your understanding of use reducer hook. So that's it for this one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you have not yet subscribed to the site on our channel, please do subscribe to the site on our channel. Press the bell icon, leave a comment down below sharing whatever topic you want me to cover next in this particular series. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.